What's up, Brian Tong here with everything Google we can pack inside of a show. Now we've heard about Google's prototype smart contact lens that can measure glucose levels for people with diabetes. It still hasn't hit the market, but Google is not stopping there. A new patent filing by the Big G reveals they're working on a vision correcting electronic device that needs to be injected directly into your eye. That's right, your eyeball. Now the device would be injected in fluid and then solidifies once it's in the eye. The goal is to cure short-sightedness by removing someone's inferior biological lens and replacing it with a motorized one. The new electronic lens would help in the process of focusing light on the eye's retina. Now the device will have storage, sensors, a radio, battery, and electronic lens, and it gets power wirelessly from an energy harvesting antenna. Crazy. Now it's all fascinating stuff, and we'll be following this to see if this patent ever really becomes a reality. It's not nearly as impressive, but still impressive new tech from LG is bringing a display panel with an integrated fingerprint reader. That means no more physical buttons for a fingerprint scanner. LG subsidiary Innotech has developed the underglass fingerprint module and claims the scanner only adds 0.3 millimeters to the panel's overall thickness. The new panel is reportedly ready to start production as early as this year, and LG is already in talks with handset manufacturers to have them commercially ready within the year. All right, Google Keyboard 5.0 for Android gets a major upgrade with design tweaks and new customizations. A new emoji and numbers button on the bottom left will bring up the keyboards for them quickly, and a bar on the top of the keyboard will now even suggest emojis for you. There's a new one-handed keyboard option in the settings now for either right or left-hand operation, and you can even select between five different keyboard heights depending on what you prefer, and the update is rolling out now to the Play Store. Also, YouTube is getting an all-new material design look and feel. Android Police reports that the facelift is in A-B testing, but a new toolbar featuring the search box is present across all YouTube pages. There's a hamburger menu on the left side that slides out to view things like your home, trending in history, and the share button is a pop-up box. Everything looks really cleaned up here, and it's a fresh and modern look for YouTube. And finally, ladies, all five of you watching this, hopefully more, if the smartwatch designs out there have done really nothing for you because they aren't even trying to appeal to you, Huawei is giving it a try with two new variants of the Huawei watch called the Jewel and the Elegant. Both models are available now and bring, you know, a little bling bling style. The Elegant starts at $499 and the Jewel starts at $599. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.